What's up, guys? Another quick drive chat, coming home from work. And today, things that were at top of my mind today, one of them is definitely authentication. Um, I have... Man, I feel like I've been all over the place trying to figure out a good uh, way to do authentication for cheap and that will scale um, and that will be really easy to use. And, you know, one solution that comes to mind really quick is Auth0. Auth0 has, in my opinion, a very fantastic experience in setting it up and using it and integrating it with whatever platform you're using, like... I have a hook that uses Auth0, and it's really nice, and it's pretty easy to understand the flow of Auth0, and it's easy to validate jots coming from Auth0, too, for, like, Express or Koa or some type of a node background, um, or anywhere, really. But the real special part of Auth0 that I like is just it's, it's really hands-off, you just get to send your users to an Auth0 login page. They handle all of the OAuth stuff for you, and then they, it sends you back, sends them back to your app or your site with a JOT. And if you don't know what a JOT is, it's, it's uh, stands for JWT, um, JSON Web Token, and they're great for security. Um, they really are just easy to use to authenticate people instead of using cookies and stuff. But JOTs are great. They're just a form of a token. And and they land back at your site with a token, and you you can know within a split second on your back end that they are a real person, that you've identified them as a real person. You know, that's really just half the battle because then you have to actually identify them in terms of who they are to your app, you know, if they tie them to a, a new user account or something like that. Um, or you could just rely on Auth0's information solely. I, I like to augment it with my own. Um, but the problem with all that is that Auth0, they uh, have a great service. They're really easy to use. But in terms of scaling, like you start getting past, um, you know, a couple thousand users or you get up, uh, you get into the scenario where you need um, LDAP or SAML or any type of uh, advanced authentication service stuff, and you're going to start paying a lot of money for Auth0. And that's great for Auth0, and they have a great product, and there's people that pay that. And, but for me, like, I don't need a lot of advanced things. I mostly just want to scale simple authentication. Um, and the next best thing that I've been able to find um, together with my team at Nozzle has been... Um, Firebase Auth. And Firebase Auth is just about as easy as doing Auth0, um, except one, it's free basically forever and for as many users as you want. Uh, I honestly have looked far and wide for a way that Firebase makes money or Google makes money off of Firebase Auth, and I cannot find one. Um, and I don't see a lot of limitations with it either. And then the second thing is that it's really easy, but the only downside to Firebase Auth I've found is that it's huge. You have to import all of the Firebase core. You have to import uh, Firebase Auth. And then you have to import Firebase UI as well. So that's something that's kind of disappointing. And I, I really wish there was something like Firebase Auth that was lighter. Um, but anyways... That's what been, that's been at the top of my mind today, and just thought I'd share that with you guys. Authentication is really hard, and it feels really good to find a system that works. Right now, I like to use Auth0 for side projects and little things, um, but at the end of the day, Firebase Auth can scale so it can scale so well. Um, I really hope that the Firebase team can get it to be like a lighter weight solution um, going forward, because that would be fantastic. Anyways, those are my uh, thoughts for today. Uh, we'll see you next time.